you can never just kind of say, well, okay, this is, this is as much as I can do. Everyone looks to you to sort of get in and actually do the nuts and bolts work with it. I am a psychologist, a mom, a referee. Footage that falls short in some major way. You must never give up. You must find a solution. Now, what are you listening to? Stillwater. Stillwater. Your kids doing drugs. Oh. <laughs> Whatever it is, the answer's no. So it wasn't until we started to get down into the three-hour running time that we started to really sense that we had a problem with the scene and really attack it, and we kept attacking it and kept attacking it until ultimately, you know, we sat down with the brutal version. I'm his journalism teacher. Mrs. Deegan is his counselor. We all speak the same language. Is it time for me to say something? Sure. No. And in anticipation of that response... No. May I present to you your own son? Lady of the jury, I wish to disprove the prevailing false belief that rock music is based on drugs and sex. And I am now going to play for you a piece of music designed to show you that my thesis is correct. Cameron intended for the scene to be, uh, you know, really long. It was kind of a bold choice. He wanted to have the entire song of Stairway play. The song is eight minutes long. So, you know, clearly when we screened it the first time or the, you know, the first few times, the, 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 the drain was stopped up. You know, the water could not go through. It was stopping the film dead in its tracks. What am I supposed to say? So we uh, started to cut it down every Stop. different way we could think of. First we started editing the song shorter, then we tried lap dissolves, we tried a time cut. Nothing really seemed to work. It was sort of psychologically difficult. It was really hard to sort of come to grips with the realization that we had to lose the kid trying to explain to his mother why he should go on the bus and in essence, lose Francis McDormand's motivation for saying no. You've all clearly ganged up on me, but my answer is still no. No, 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 no. More than four days, and I want you to give me a phone number where you are every minute. I want you to call me twice a day, and you do not miss more than one test. No drugs. In the final version, she inexplicably flip-flops 180 degrees from her previously stated position. Now, what are you listening to? Still water. Still water. Your kids doing drugs. No, 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 no. More than four days, and I want you to give me a phone number where you are every minute. I want you to call me twice a day, and you do not miss more than one test. And no drugs. Oh, this is a big mistake. Well, after we cut it down to that shortest version, Forever After sort of proved indisputably that in this particular case, motivation and logic were absolutely secondary to the prime consideration of pacing and rhythm and momentum. And the scene, you know, what started out as this huge meal of a scene ended up being really just transitional connective tissue. <laughs> 